What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if your computer does not boot up under 30 seconds, watch this video. I just upgraded to an SSD, and I went from a minute and a half boot up to 15 to 20 seconds boot up on average, which is incredible. I was about to buy a brand new MacBook Pro for about $2,000. Now, I don't need one. I, my computer is just as fast as any new computer. And opening up iMovie opens up just as fast before it took over a minute to boot up iMovie now it takes on average 15 to 20 seconds to open up iMovie and I have a update downloading in the background just to show you now on my MacBook Pro it has a 250 gig hard drive so I bought um, a 250 gig SSD Samsung 850 Evo for $90 at Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description below. You also want to get a USB to SATA cable that plugs into the SSD and download Carbon Copy Cloner from download.com. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get that. It's free. Uh, you want to save it. It's going to go to your downloads folder. Then you want to plug in your SSD to your SATA to USB cable, just like so. Initialize once you get that pop up. Go to Disk Utility and then click on external make sure that it's your Samsung that you're going to configure click on erase you want to rename it Samsung SSD and your format should be default OS X and then your scheme should be defaulted partition map and click on erase now once this is complete click on done on the left, you'll notice it'll say Samsung SSD. Click on that and make sure everything looks good. Go to your download folder, double click on Carbon Copy, open that, move to application, then click on Agree. Then once Carbon Copy, copy opens up, you want to select the trial, which is free. Then you select your source, which is the old hard drive, the Mac, uh, Macintosh HD. And then your destination, of course, is going to be the Samsung SSD and select clone. And then put in your username and password. And then it's going to take some time to do its thing. Now next, this will pop up. Click on create recovery. Create recovery HD. Select that. Next, you want to select OK. Right, X out of that, close that, and then you want to shut down your MacBook at this point. All right, so you want to get a micro Phillips screwdriver and take out all the micro screws all over the outer edge of the MacBook Pro. Make sure you unplug the power cord and remove the back plate, unplug the battery. And then you want to remove the screws on the side. This is the lock bar. So go ahead and remove the lock bar. It's a micro Phillips screws holding it in. Set it to the side. And then pull on that tab to remove the old hard drive. Remove the SATA cable. And then since you have it opened, it's a great idea to upgrade your memory. I had a 4 gig RAM stick in there. So I upgraded to two 4 gig RAM sticks. Make sure you um, get the proper speed and go ahead and insert those new RAM sticks in. That's going to greatly improve your MacBook Pro. And so I went from 4 gigs to 8 gigs. And next, you want to go ahead and remove the security screws on that hard drive. I'm going to use my Torque Bit Key set. Um, it's a T6 if you're wondering. And it looks like a star shape. It has a little pinhole in the middle. And then you turn it counterclockwise. You're going to remove all four screws on the side of the hard, old hard drive. And you want to insert them into the new SSD. There should be a pre-drilled machine screw um, screw holes. You just screw it in all four sides of the SSD. This is going to lock into your MacBook Pro securely. So it's really important you, you know, install these security screws on your SSD. Then you want to plug in that SATA cable. And then you're going to put one side in first into the slot. And then you set it down. And then you put that lock bar over on top. 
with the Phillips screws and use your Phillips screwdriver to screw it in, to lock it in, the lock bar. And next, you want to plug in your battery, put the cover on, and then put on, screw in all the micro Phillips screws all over the border, and then plug in your power cord. Now, when you restart the MacBook Pro, don't freak out. You're going to have a solid white screen for maybe a minute to two minutes. This is normal. The computer is just recognizing all the upgrades that you did, and then it's going to boot up just as normal. And when you restart, it's going to boot up under 20 seconds. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone with a slow MacBook Pro, click on the share button below and share it to them and help someone out. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on the subscribe button. And if you're interested in the SSD, click on the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.